Hey everyone, I'm Kaya, yoga instructor with exercisesforinjuries.com. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to be guiding you through a chair yoga class. So we're going to do about a 10 minute class together, moving our way through the entire body. So you can go ahead, grab a chair, ideally one with no arms because we're going to be turning side to side. And you can find a seat, grounding down through the feet. Ideally, knees are at about 90 degrees. Long spine growing up out of the sitting bones through the crown of the head, stacking shoulders over hips, and hands can rest on the thighs. You can close the eyes or find a soft gaze down at the floor. And we'll just begin connecting in with our breath. So there's no need to change anything about your breath. You don't need to change the rhythm. You don't need to deepen it. Just noticing. Noticing where you feel the sensations of the inhale and exhale. And then if the eyes are closed, you can slowly flicker them open. And we'll start by rolling the shoulders back. You can start small and slow, and then as you warm up, maybe getting a little bit bigger. Bringing those shoulders all the way up towards the ears and then full circles. Moving with your breath. And then coming to stillness, and then we'll bring our right ear down towards the right shoulder. You can move your chin, find that spot on the side of the neck that feels best. And then once you've found it, just sitting with your breath. Maybe yawning. <laughs> And then we'll bring our neck slowly, chin to chest, and over to the other side, left ear down towards left shoulder. Moving the chin, finding that spot, and then once you've found it, just letting your breath move through you. Shoulders relax down away from the ears. We'll bring the chin back towards the chest and on an inhale, slowly come back up through center. Hands can come to knees, moving through some cat cows. So on an inhale, arching your spine, reaching your belly forward, shoulders and tailbone back. Gaze can lift and then exhale, pull your belly button back towards your spine and around. So inhaling forward, arch the spine and exhale round, really exaggerating the movements. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Couple more here in your own breath. Good. The next inhale, coming back through center. We'll inhale, left arm up, and then exhale, twisting to the right, left hand to the outside of the right leg. Each inhale, find length through your spine, and exhale, use your core and your hands to twist you deeper. Gaze comes wherever it's comfortable, so there's no need to look all the way back behind you. On your next inhale, back through center, right arm lifts. And exhale, twist to the left, palm to the outside of the left leg. Again, each inhale, lengthen the spine. And each exhale, twist a little deeper.
And on your next inhale, floating back through center. We're going to bring the right arm underneath the left. So coming into eagle arms, you can grab opposite shoulders, back so the hands can come together, or maybe palms. Bringing the elbows away from the body and up. And if this is enough, stay here. If you want to bring in the legs, you can cross the right leg over left and maybe even tuck the right toes behind the left calf. So we're coming into a chair version of eagle pose. Breathe into the shoulders and exhale. Imagine the tension releasing from the body. On your exhale, gently release. And then we'll bring left arm under right. And again, same options, opposite shoulders, backs of hands or palms, and then maybe left leg crosses over. If the legs are too much, just focus on the arms here. Pulling elbows away from the body and up, really opening through the upper back, shoulders, neck. Deep, full breaths. And on your next exhale, gently unwind and back through center. We're going to turn to one side. So I'm coming to the right. So my right thigh is supported by the chair, left leg behind. I can use my right arm to grab onto the chair for support, pressing through the back toes to open up through the front of the left hip and thigh. And you can stay here or you can bring that left arm up and over, bringing in a side bend, opening further through the hip and the side body and the shoulder. Deep breaths all the way into the low belly, into the rib cage and all the way into the chest and then full exhales. On your exhale, back through center. And we'll come onto the other side, this time left thigh is supported, right leg behind, both knees at about 90. The more you press into those back toes, the more you can push the right hip forward and open up through the front of the right leg, and maybe right arm up and over. But if you find that it constricts the breathing, just come back to your lunge. Deep, full breaths. Inhale, back through center. Coming into our figure four, we're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee. And if that's not accessible, you can cross ankles and then work your right uh, ankle up the leg, just avoiding the knee, and then eventually working towards having the left knee bent. Flex the right toes back towards the right shin to protect the knee, lengthen through the spine, and then hinge forward and press the right leg down if you need to deepen it further. And come back to your breath. Inhale, back up. And then same options on the other side, left ankle. Somewhere along the right leg, flex the toes back, and then maybe hinge at the hips and press the leg down. Breathe space into the left hip. And exhale, sink a little deeper.
and inhale back up. And then we're going to do a forward fold for our last posture. So lengthening your legs out in front of you, not hyper extending the knees, so slight bend in the knees and then bring your toes back towards the shins. And if this is enough of a stretch through the backs of the legs, stay here to deepen hinge at the hips. We're not rounding through the spine. We're keeping the spine long, moving only from the hips and only coming as far as you can keep integrity in the spine. So maybe palms come to thighs, maybe shins, and maybe down to the toes. And just like with the twists, each inhale, lengthen the spine. And then each exhale, maybe come a little deeper. Letting go a little bit more each time you exhale. And then when you're ready, you can slowly walk your way back up, use your core. And we'll come back to our seat. Palms rest on the thighs and again, finding a soft gaze or closing the eyes. And for one last minute, coming back to the breath. Send yourself some gratitude for showing up and doing this work for yourself today. And I invite you to stay here in silence or even lie down into a Shavasana for as long as you have. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.